What is up, Pokemon Pit Beta? It is Puddles A1 here, and I am bringing you my fourth upload to this channel. So today I got a UU match against Cursed Pokemon, and whenever I'm in a slump or I need a good battle, this guy always provides me with the good battle that I want, that I need, that I just crave, and I love it so much. So I decided to upload it to Pokemon Pit Beta, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's look at this team preview. Now, my team is Honchkrow based. I have the Quillfish and the Registeel just to set up hazards, be my walls, and then Thunder Wave things when I need them to be Thunder Waved. And I have the Magneton strictly for Steel types, and that's it. That's the only purpose it serves in this team. And then I have the Kingdra just to bring a special feel to the team so that everything's not reliant on the uh, physical Honchkrow, and so I have the Specs Kingdra to counter that, and then I have Zatu to be a Zatu. Now, looking at my opponent's team, he's got big threats in the form of Crobat and Ambipom, just because they naturally outspeed my team, and uh, I don't run any Scarfish, which is always a bad idea, but I do it anyway. And to that regard, Rotom, Kingdra, and Scrafty will also outspeed my team, because if Rotom is... Uh, Scarfed, it will naturally outspeed, and, K and Dragon Dance is a thing, and Kingdra and Scrafty both get it, and uh, with that being said, you know, actually, I think Rose Raid can also outspeed my team if it's properly invested, but whatever, here we go. He's going to lead off with the Rotom, I'm going to lead off with the Q-Fish, I'm thinking that he's going to lead off with the Ambipom, because usually when I see Ambipom, I think they're going to lead with it. In this case, he doesn't, he leads off with the Rotom, knowing that I'm probably going to lead off with my Quillfish, and right off the bat, I'm already in a bad position, because now he can go for the Volt Switch, get that Switch initiative off, so I'm just going to try and fodder off my uh, Magneton here, because it's only there for Steel types, like I said. It's got um, Substitute, Magnet Rise, HP Fire, and Thunderbolt. Like, I do not want... Um I don't want Steel types because they're bad for this team, so I'm going to switch out here knowing he's going to start setting up on me, so I go into my Quillfish to wall it and get the Intimidate off as I see Dragon Dance. I was like, the one set I did not want this Scrafty to be was Dragon Dance. He could have been Banded. He could have been Bulk Up. He could have been Scarf. He could have been Specs for all I care as long as it wasn't Dragon Dance. Um, so I know he's going to switch out here. I go for the Thunder Wave, and luckily I catch this Ambipom off guard, so that's really great because now this thing is paralyzed. It's no longer going to outspeed my team, but Fake Out still an option, so I'm going to switch out and go into my Magneton to fodder it off right now. But he predicts me to go into one of my Steel types and goes into his Rotom. Great prediction on his play. And uh, he's going to go for the Overheat, take me out. And that's fine because I don't need this Magneton anymore. And I'm glad it's gone. It was just dead weight anyway. So um, at this point, I'm going to want to go into my um, Kingdra just to threaten it out with the Water Stab. But I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor, predicting him to bring in his Rose Raid as he actually brings in his Crobat, which um, is even better because this thing was going to naturally outspeed my team too. But instead of being paralyzed, it is just gone, destroyed, no longer available available for him, for him it is gone i just love it i'm so glad this thing is gone because now I have an easier chance um, of coming in and not speeding things with my Honchkrow. So I know he's going to go for Volt Switch, and judging by that damage, I think that he specs because I know that Rotom naturally outspeeds me. I'm pretty sure that Rotom's base speed is 85 while King or 87 while Kingdra's is 85. So I'm going to stay in and see what he's going to go for. He goes into his Rose Raid, and judging by that damage, I know that this is the max HP split defense variant as opposed to the max special attack and max speed variant, which is going to come into play later. So I'm going to bring in my Zatu, knowing he's going to go for the, the Sludge Bomb, um, but I didn't want to bring in my Registeel on the off chance that he went for the Sleep Powder or the Hazards or any other status move that he wanted to go for. And uh, he gets the Poison. It's not going to matter too much to me because it only helps him out. It's a 30% chance, so I'm really not going to complain about it. And uh, I'm going to go for the U-turn here. I thought he'd stay in, but he's actually going to go into a Scrafty, which is going to help me out even more because now I can go into my Honchkrow. Basically threaten this thing out with uh, Stab Brave Bird. But um, I, I go for the Substitute on the off chance that he switches out. I was hoping he would, but he doesn't. I forgot that um, Dragon Dance Scrafty runs Ice Punch. So I kind to make a bad misplay there but you know whatever so uh, he gets a crit. That doesn't matter. It was going to break my sub regardless, but especially because he has Life Orb, it's, I'm, I'm going to be able to take this thing out with a Brave Bird. I could have done it from full HP just because he wasn't the bulk up. He didn't have the max HP investment, and uh, it is super effective stab. I am uh, Honchkrow, and I have huge amounts of attack. I'm adamant, too, so that's pretty cool. I get the Moxie Boost. Awesome. Then I get Leftovers Recovery, and because I have Leftovers, it helps me out a lot more uh, than if I have Life Orb, and that's going to come into play also later as he brings in this Rotom, and I need to get my Rocks up because this Rotom keeps coming in for free, and it's a big threat right now so he's gonna go for the overheat just to get some awesome awesome damage off on something as I bring in my Zatu to see what he's gonna lock himself into and also his death water because I don't need my Zatu really that much anymore so um, I'm bringing I'm gonna bring in my Registeel here and go for the Thunder Wave on the switch out as I catch this Kingdra off guard which is awesome because now um, I'm slowly but surely taking out all the big threats that I have laid out for you guys in the team preview so now I get to set up my rocks knowing I will outspeed and knowing that this Kingdra really can't do anything for, to me so he sets up the sub here and this is awesome for me because on this Registeel I actually packed the Seismic Toss over the Iron Head, which is a really good, um, I don't know, it's a really good move, I feel like, instead of Iron Head, instead of, like, the Paraflinch thing, I have, um, the Para, Para, 
just para straight. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go for the seismic toss as he goes for the dragon dance. In both sets, I did not want this king drench crafty to be. Turns out that they are, and that's why I love battling this guy because he always catches me off guard with things like this, and uh, it makes me think more. And I love thought invoking battles, and it's just it's just lovely to battle this guy. And yeah, I just I just said lovely, so deal with it. So um, uh, I keep going for the seismic tosses because I'm I'm just foddering off my registeel here. I don't need it anymore. I just want to will down HP on this Pokemon, and um, I don't want him to be able to set up Dragon Dances and do even more damage to me. So, uh, that's my plan here. He's going to want to preserve his uh, Kingdry here. I'm not entirely sure why, just because Rotom is still better in this situation because it's not paralyzed, and it doesn't have that much residual damage on it, but now it is going to have a lot because the Seismic Toss takes it from, like, mid-green to low yellow, which uh, is really going to help me out more. So, he's going to go for the Overheat, take on my Registeel. That's fine. I don't really need Registeel anymore. Like I said, he's just in there to whittle down HP, and I'm going to go into my Hans Crow now because I know I can take out this thing with a Sucker Punch. So, I'm going to go for it, knowing that he's um, staying in, tells me he was Specs and not Scarfed, just because he would have been at minus one instead of minus two, and he would have done a lot more damage. And this is where having Leftovers over Life Orb is going to help me out, because he's going to bring in his uh, Ambipom, and had I had left or had I had I Life Orb, this Fake Out would have definitely taken me out. But um, I, I really misjudged how much Fake Out was going to do to me. I forgot it was um, probably boosted um, from the item. It's boosted from Technician and Stab, and it's an Ambipom, so I really should have done better scouting. I really could have went into my Quillfish here because I would have um, I would have been able to take it a lot better because of the Intimidate, but he goes for the U-turn here and he's going to go out into his Kingdra, and uh, I really uh, I misplayed here because I should have went out into my Q-Fish in the beginning instead of having my Hanscrow take that um, pointless, pointless um, fake out. So uh, I wish I would have gotten the Intimidate off in this Kingdra, but I don't. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for the Waterfall, and luck is on my side because I'm going to get the Critical Hit and the Flinch, which is going to help a lot because in instead of it being a 9 or 10 hit KO, now it's going to be a 6 or 7 hit KO. So I am pretty much just going to leave in my uh, Quillfish here to get the... Um, the flinches and the para flinches going on, so he's gonna actually break through both of those things. Go for the outrage, and uh, after the black sludge recovery, I'm thinking that I can live another outrage and then get like para flinch fusion going on with the waterfall and then the confusion hacks or whatever. Like if he do, if I do live the outrage and he gets uh, the two turn outrage, but he takes me out with the max damage roll and that's all. That's that's fine. That's op. What does op mean? But whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna go into my Hans Crow now, and I'm hoping to God that I can take this thing out. But I want to go for the Roost just because I'm at too low of an HP range, and I lost my Quillfish, and I need to be able to take another Fake Out from the Ambipom. So I'm hoping that he hits himself in Confusion Hacks. Gods, come on! And he hits himself, and I'm like, oh yes, this is great. So I will be able to have uh, a decent amount of HP after leftovers and the Roost for to deal with for to deal with whatever. <laughs> just just to deal with this Ambipom as he goes for the fake out. I am at a higher range of HP, so I will be able to take the fake out as long as he doesn't get a crit or a higher damage roll. And he gets neither of those things, which is awesome for me because now I can go for Sucker Punch, take out this Ambipom. And even had he preserved this Ambipom, I could have um, outsped the Rose Raid and then my Kingdra would have outsped the uh, Ambipom. So... All he had left was the Ambipom and the Rose Raid, but I can take out the Rose Raid because I am faster, because like I said, this is the split defense variant as opposed to the max speed variant, and this is where it comes into play, because I get to outspeed it, go for the Brave Bird, take it out, and I actually live the Brave Bird recoil, and that's going to be great game, Curse of Pokemon, like I really love this battle, so I highly recommend this guy, please go check him out, even if you guys don't like his narrations, he always provides great battles, he's very insightful with his teams, it's just, they're, they're always good battles, so um, I highly recommend him, I highly re recommend the Pokemon Pit. If you guys haven't subscribed to them already, please do it because they give people like me and other YouTubers uh, a voice out there so you guys know what, what what's coming up for you guys. So um, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to say it again. Subscribe to the Mosh Pit, and that's, that's all I'm going to say. I'm cutting it here. Peace, love. Later, Gators.